Hello fifth graders, this is chapter three, lesson three of our ecosystem restoration unit. Remember, during this lesson, we are skipping activity two, so let's go ahead and continue our learning. As ecologists working for natural resource rescue, we've been synthesizing ideas to come to a new understanding about how different soils can be different in different places. And remember, we are looking at our project area and our healthy rainforest. You are going to write a short argument to answer the question using the evidence that we've gathered from our readings, investigations, and our simulation. You can find this on page 66 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook or on page 5 of your Chapter 3, Lesson 3 Activity Workbook. Go ahead and pause the video and answer this question now. We know that decomposers, such as mushrooms, break down the body matter of dead plants, animals, and other decomposers, and that they add nutrients to the soil. The body matter of these dead organisms becomes food matter for the decomposers. Now, let's think about what decomposers do with the matter that they break down. In order to do this, we are going to use the simulation to observe what happens to the body matter of dead plants, animals, and decomposers after the decomposers take it in. To open the simulation, you can log on to Amplify, open the Ecosystem Restoration Unit, and click on the orange number one, or you can continue on with this video. As we look at the simulation, we're going to observe the decomposers taking in matter from each of the other organisms at least once. We are also going to observe to figure out what happens to the energy in the food matter when it is broken down by decomposers. So I'm going to go ahead and open the simulation now. Okay, now that my simulation is open, I'm going to press play. I'm also going to make sure that only my matter is showing. So I'm going to turn off the energy and I'm going to focus on our squares under each organism. And again, remember we're focusing on the decomposers. So as we observe, we're going to make sure that we focus on the matter that is going directly to the decomposer. So I see there is matter going from the plants. I just saw that go across. Let's keep watching. Matter from the soil is going into the decomposer. Or I would suppose this wouldn't be soil. This would be the earthworms where the millipedes are and even where droppings are. Let's observe for a couple more moments. Again, I see most of the matter for the decomposers coming from the plant and from the ground. I also have seen oh, some from the rabbits and the wolves. Okay. Now I'm going to show the energy. And I want to see where the energy and the food matter is coming from. So our food matter is going to be our rabbits, our plants, and our sun. So let's focus on just the energy. So I'm noticing a lot of energy matter or food matter is going from the sun to the plants. I also just saw the food matter for the wolves go from the rabbits. And I'm also seeing that the plant food matter is going towards the rabbits. Let's go ahead and go back to our presentation. So based on what you observed, answer this question. What do you think decomposers do with the matter that they break down? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. A key concept that we have really nailed down during this lesson and this chapter is that animals, plants, and decomposer, 
decomposers grow by changing food molecules into body molecules that can build their bodies. Notice how and decomposers is highlighted. It's important to remember that this is for animals, plants, as well as decomposers. Another key concept that we have solidified during this lesson and chapter is that animals, plants, and decomposers, highlighted again, use some food molecules to release energy for movement and growth. So let's keep these key concepts in mind as we move forward with our chapter. This is the conclusion of lesson three. Can't wait to see you in lesson four.